Hello again, I am Blunty, and these types of gently sliding shots are popular with filmmakers of all varieties, everything from the zero dollar budget types to the Hollywood types. They're usually achieved with some sort of dolly rig, and that is either a set of wheels, sometimes on track, sometimes not, sometimes on uh, sliding tracks like these little standalone devices. And today I'm looking at something called the Moby Slider from Glide Track. And Glide Track have a pretty good reputation when it comes to this kind of stuff, so I thought I would give it a look. Now, the Moby Slider, as the name might suggest, is designed for mobile phone videography and small cameras and the like. It's built to be very inexpensive, to be cheap, to be very, very light, to be easy to transport and carry around for those amateur movie makers out there who are operating on a budget. And of course, being primarily designed for mobile phones, which don't generally have tripod adapters on them, it comes with this little mount here, which is designed to accommodate a bunch of different phones using a simple set of clamp here, which will accommodate all but the very ridiculously big of your mobile phones out there. It simply snaps in like this. Unfortunately, one of the first problems you hit is there's no locking mechanism here, so it can pull out just as easily. So you have to be kind of careful when you're using it. And this rotating dual ball joint arm thing isn't particularly tough either. It's kind of cheap feeling if we're honest about it. And oh look, see that's come off there as well. It's got the same problem. No locking mechanism. Anyway, so let's put that in there and uh, we'll grab my phone here. And bam, iPhone locked and loaded. And just going to tighten this up so it doesn't slide around so much. There we go. So now we can use this to slide side to side, or we can do this, and we can have push-in shots and things like that. It does come with some optional mounts as well, so if you're not using your mobile phone, maybe using a small camera or something like that, you can uh, swap it out. So let's release that here. You have a little standard tripod mount there, which will go straight into the little hot shoe there, which can rotate. And you can mount well, any camera with a tripod socket on it there. There's also a couple of different ball joint things you can replace on the end of here. So this one just has a piece of adhesive on it, so you can stick it to anything pretty much. And there is another one with the tripod screw on it. So your mounting options are fairly flexible. But I have to say the mount on it is the weakest part of this entire operation. Let's take a look at some footage and I'll show you why. Now, I've been out a few times with the Moby slider, trying to get my eye and trying to sort of learn my way around and find out what the best way is to push and pull it around and try and get the smoothest moves possible. But as you can see from this footage that we're looking at, it's, uh, it's pretty tough, basically. The problem is the mounts for the mobile phone, that little dual ball joint thing we were looking at, is very, very cheaply built and it's not very solid and you can tie this you can tighten this up as much as you like and it's still going to be loose and floppy and it's awful and you know it comes apart like that it's really really frustrating and the other part of it is the little sled device itself is very very poorly designed there is a lot of play in it a lot of jiggle and wiggle and rock and roll and as soon as you put any camera on there whatsoever no matter how light it is it jiggles and wiggles and moves about so you have to be extraordinarily careful when you're using it otherwise all your shots are going to sort of have this wobble in them and you can see again and again and again in this demo footage i keep hitting that and i'm pretty good at this kind of stuff i have very steady hands i can i can do moves like this hand and held very smoothly but with the Moby slider it's just it's really difficult look how much play there is in it look I could it's moving so much and that is the exact opposite of what you want to happen in a glide rail kind of setup you don't want it to wiggle and move and wobble and carry on like that it is immensely frustrating it drove me up the wall quite honestly and it made next to no difference at all uh, swapping out the mobile phone attachment for a proper small camera like my little pentax q here very small very light would have been ideal for it for use on the moby slider i thought but it's even connected directly to it even without that rickety little cheap piece of crap arm directly connected to it it still wobbled about like a maniac and even under its own gravity you know, without the, the human element, without me trying to push it smoothly back and forth, even under gravity, it would not slide smoothly. And, you know, that is the bare minimum test of something like this. If you can't tilt it up and it can't sort of slide smoothly and slowly under its own power, just under the force of gravity, if it can't even do that, you'd know there is a design flaw. It's a poorly built bit of kit. It's ridiculous to have something like this come from Glidetrack, who are experienced in making these things, and I've heard very good things about their sort of pro and semi-pro level gear, but to have something designed for the sort of amateur market or the, you know, iPhone videographers, 
uh, built this poorly is kind of ridiculous. And well, that's a little bit unfair. It's not poorly designed. The design is very, very nice. It's very clever. It's very light and compact and everything. And everything you want in a device like this to be small and compact and light and very, very portable. It's just poorly implemented i think is the proper word to use it it's got some clever features underneath the rail here you've got a mount for a tripod so you can sit it up off the ground on your tripod or whatever you need to do which is very very handy these ends come right off and you can actually buy like i did here a 660 millimeter extension rail for very very long moves and stuff like that to get you even more flexibility these uh, little ball joints here they actually screw off and if you hit the web page for the glide track you can find out they've got a bunch of different accessories planned like little legs and little wheels and all kinds of interesting stuff going on that you can screw into there instead of these uh, little grippy wheels here and that's all very very interesting design it's just the fact that this little sled is built very very poorly these little wheels are horrible they're not built to very fine tolerances the braking mechanism is crappy and even this mount here it exploded on me when i was trying to use it once it just popped completely off and i nearly lost the spring that's holding in the little locking clutch here and it's just it's ridiculously poorly implemented a terrific idea for a design and because of all that I really can't recommend this thing. I mean, everything else about it except this is great. I love it. But the guys, the designers over at GlideTrack really need to rethink this little sled device here. They, they need to go back to the drawing board and redesign this thing and, and get rid of this, this hopeless kind of thing here. This is horrible as well. Just that bit is good. This bit and, and these are just crappy bargain basement piece of crap cheapo lowest common bidder I don't know what do you want to call it but these are rubbish these ruin the entire experience if it wasn't for these it would be a terrific system but on the plus side of things it is a cheap system you can get the standard set which comes with all those little tripod adapters and everything and uh, the standard size rail here for I paid about 127 Australian dollars and the uh, extension rail there comes in at about 70 Australian dollars but uh, all up for that kind of money I expected much much better it is not the quality I would have expected for you know I ended up spending like $200 uh, when it was all shipped to me and everything a little over $200 but uh, it's next to unusable because I just cannot get smooth moves out of this rickety little sled it's just no good so I'm sorry glide track and the designers of of this movie slider thing you've 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 effed up basically you've really screwed the pooch i can't believe you felt confident in selling this to people under your glide track brand i mean you've got a reputation to protect guys and this is really is unusable for any practical purpose i am annoyed that i, I wasted 200 dollars on this unusable bit of kit and I really can't say much about their packing either. This thing shipped from Scotland, where I presume they're manufactured, or at least sold from, and it came just in a little plastic bag. No padding, no nothing, and when I got it, the box was completely destroyed, so hard luck if I bought it for a gift for somebody, for instance. And because it was so poorly packed and poorly protected, the long extension uh, that I got had a dent in it. Fortunately for me, the uh, dent is uh, not something that will impede the function of it, but the mere fact that it was damaged at all in transit is an indication that they just don't pack these things properly and there is potential for you to receive yours damaged beyond use. Anyway, thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.